What's going on, YouTube? Justin Dez back with part two of the off season uh, for Hobart Team Builder Dynasty here on NCAA 14. We're going to start off by redshirting my favorite guy, part of the recruit, because I live in Rochester. Marcus Brooks and Chad Harris are both going to get redshirted. Edwin Summers and the number two overall prospect in the entire class last year will be QB two and three. It's probably going to be a battle between those two. I will not also, I'm, you know, Ryan could also potentially start over Dustin Miller, uh, running backs. I want to at least red shirt Shane gray. I want to put Johnny Smith in somehow, some way, give him some carries so he doesn't transfer. Cause he is also a top 10 recruit. Uh, Waylon, he's the only, s well, redshirt senior, but Victor Jackson, Mac Daddy's a junior. Tony Gordon is basically Victor Jackson 2.0, but bigger and taller and whatnot. Uh, Demetrius, I'm not, I'm going to redshirt Marcus Collier for now. He is 6'6". Uh, we can't redshirt any of the tight ends. We can't redshirt any of the tackles. I don't want to redshirt him. Don't want to redshirt him. Riley Cummings, a very, he might potentially be uh, one of our starting guards, maybe, but I don't want to redshirt him possibly losing. I definitely want to redshirt Nick Chapman. And so we're definitely going to have to recruit the hell out of an offensive line. Besides Dennis Mason, we got two right tackles going. We got. Hopefully, I mean, Richard Williams could maybe move over. I mean, Riley Cummings is our future center, but we may also have RJ Green come back. We might lose Kyle Phillips, um, and then definitely Dan Simpson. He might come back for another year, but definitely want to recruit the hell out of that. Kevin Robinson's going to start, and I'm going to put Andrew Wells over uh, Eric Coker as well. And then I want to start Marcus Williams over Quinton, maybe getting some playing time, maybe put him as one of the pass rushers as well. Uh, left outside linebacker, Robert Kane. I want to put him as the second middle linebacker so he gets some PT. Don't want to really redshirt him. But Brian Brentley. I don't think he's ready completely yet. Um, and then Patrick Henderson, but we are going to redshirt Ryan Gray as well. So we're not going to redshirt any of these guys. Uh, I probably am going to start the Marcus Roberts. I want to see what he can do. Maybe corner number one, number two, maybe. But, I mean, he's a freak athlete. And then I'm probably going to start Blake Miller and Craig Richardson over Townsend as well. Uh, I want to I wanna redshirt Abdul. Uh, he's just, just to be safe. Um, and then definitely redshirt Fred Knox as well. And then we have a 60 overall walk-on punter. I'll take it. Custom schedule. Uh, we start basically week three against Wisconsin. And then I don't know why we go to South Alabama. Oh, we can go at Ole Miss. And then Rutgers. I mean, that's a weird, weird schedule. But I want to face – I have a list of, of uh, teams <laughs> – that I want to play against, if I can find them. All right. So we played at the big house, Clemson, Texas A&M, Swamp, the Dome. Uh, I kind of want to play. I don't want to play Georgia. I want to play... All right, well, first of all, I want to face, yeah, Utah State's fine. And then South Alabama, I want to 
if Syracuse is available, East. I think we lost to Northwest, Midwest, Northwest, East. Who did we lose to? I think it was FCS Northwest. I, I definitely want a rematch with them. We can go to at 25 Old Miss, but I'm leaning towards Virginia Tech. I don't know. Let's. kind of want to do open there so then we have this first game to go wherever we want bama we already remit uh, arkansas byu baylor boise clemson oh yeah uh rice alabama stanford tennessee ucla um I don't want to face Boise, the blue turf. Then at Utah, which, I mean, we could switch, but I doubt there's going to be a better game than that. LSU, Oklahoma, Oregon, Oregon State, SMU, Syracuse. I kind of want to renew that, but... Same time, I've never been to Utah State. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, And then we're hosting Rutgers this year, and it's basically more of they're probably going to have – it's more of a home game, but I figure we shake up Season 4 by having a mutual game, neutral site game, so why not make it MetLife? So MetLife, then two – and then we're at at number 25 on this, but then we face Wisconsin for the first time. We face Illinois for the first time. We host Nebraska. That's our, our biggest win so far in program history. We're at Michigan State. We're versus Iowa revenge game at the big house versus Minnesota at Northwestern, which they want revenge. So I like the schedule. B plus. Plus we go out west to the blue field at Boise and then Utah State. See if we're gonna find any gems. We're beefing up on the old line. Right now it's not looking very promising. Ooh, we got one gem. We're just stacking. Ooh, I think we might hit the guards. We got some some potential solid guards. We're just going all out for this for the O line. We need to beef up. Quickly go over conference outlook, whatnot before season four. Uh, we are projected to be second to dead last. Nebraska for some reason. Northwestern, uh, Michigan, Michigan State, and Iowa are supposed to be better than us. Uh, we're in eighty eight. Our defense went up a little bit better, up at like five points. It's an 87 now, so I'll take it. But I'm a little bit mad about that. You know, we kind of shocked them last year. We have the number one recruiting class coming in, and they're just like, yeah, no, nah, you're going to be sitting in sixth place. Hi. Hi. The Heisman watch is going to be An 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 Antonio An Russell, uh, Shannon Bennett, who absolutely murdered us, uh, Dustin Brewer, John Galloway and Anthony Con Conley. Preseason All Americans. We got our boy Tyler uh, being up there. Anyone else? I think Chris Bonner. No surprise. And Demetrius Cox. Which uh, spoiler alert: he is no longer the uh, kick returner or punt returner because he's not the best anymore. So that's awkward. Uh, second team. We got any love? We got any love? Bo Brown in his senior year, second team, and yeah, no. But Big Ten, we got Tyler, first team, getting some first team love. Um, Bo Brown getting some first team love. Chris Bonner and Joe Francis, first team love. And Demetrius Cox, which he's not going to get. And then second team, 
J.B. Crooks in his final year as well. And, oh, Robert Richards as well. We're going to quickly go over uh, the depth chart and then part two, whatnot, whatever is going to be done. Uh, Dustin Miller is QB1. Uh, and then Ryan Kaplan, the number two overall prospect in the entire class, is uh, QB2. Edward Summers is QB3, so two freshmen and a sophomore. Rakeem Wallace, the senior, followed by TJ, the junior. Johnny Smith, the freshman. And then for some reason, Kappa, Captain at four. Fullbacks we don't need to worry about. Waylon Osborne is number one. Tyler Maples is number two. Victor Jackson's number three. Mac Daddy is number four. Ryan Kaplan is number five because he's a really good wide receiver as well. And then Tony Gordon, who can also play emergency quarterback, is uh, number six. Tight ends, Tim Richards and Lee Cooper. We definitely need to recruit a tight end. Dan Simpson moved out to tackle. Uh, Kyle Phillips is left guard. RJ Green is... uh, the center and then i don't get why mr cummings is not the backup center guard dan mason the sophomore marcus moore the senior the captain uh will be there kevin robinson's going to start at left end along with andrew wells as the other guy but he's going to be the right end for now and then jb crooks and marcus williams the freshman will be the backup d tackle left outside linebacker patrick henderson who didn't really play at all last year is going to be in uh, Bo Brown is going to be uh, linebacker number one. Robert Kane, who really had, when he had his spots, was really good at number two. And then Derek Dre Childress is going to be uh, right outside linebacker. Then Terrell Morris is going to be wide res- CB number one. Demarcus Roberts, CB number two. Richards, the slot. Towns, I think, is going to be replaced by Mr. Miller. Yeah, and then I'm going to also start, uh, is it Blake? No, Richardson. So we're going to have Craig Richardson and Brad Blake Miller, the two freshmen also, because they're just quicker and better awareness. Joe Francis is going to be there. Robert Richardson is going to be the backup. Joe Francis. Oh, Chris Bonner, excuse me. And then kicker, Ben Mosley. He did not get a punter. So we have a walk-on and Nolan Beck, but Ben Mosley's going to do uh, that as well. Kickoff returns, Waylon Osborne and Victor Jackson are going to be one and two. I'm going Waylon for right now. He's also going to be the part returner. Ben is obviously going to be the kicker, and the long snapper is going to be Marcus Moore. So season four is going to kick off at the turf with Boise State. We are B plus, B plus, B. They are B minus, B, B minus. Uh, Kirk is rocking with us. Um, I'm excited for season four. Season four probably will not happen until 2023. I want to take a break, kind of enjoy the holidays. It's going to be stressful, crazy, and also maybe develop some other series, you know, kind of look a little bit more into what the channel is going to do in 2023. But if you guys made it this far into the video, you guys are awesome. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video and comment. Who do you think we should maybe play? You know, maybe how we fit in Ryan Kaplan because he's a really, really talented once in a generation. I think talent, the most talented athlete I've ever had. The fact that he can be a wide receiver, running back and quarterback, and he could possibly be like the sec first string to like second string for all of them is wild. Um, so let me know. Maybe he can be like our Taysom Hill type of thing, but let me know in the comments. But until next video, you guys have a good one. Peace.